Thanks for clicking in today. I'm Mr. R, and this is The Rondinelli Project, with tips from the tackle box. Today's topic, the best jigs for catching crappies. So let's jump in. This is a tube bait. It's an inch and a half long, and it has an inserted 1 32nd ounce jig head. Tube baits come in many different colors. These are some of my favorite colors. You'll have to determine that on the body of water that you fish for crappies on. These are called big bite baits. They're a little bit different than the hollow body tube bait, but they still have the same effect and the jig head has to be put on the outside. As you see here, I like to match the tail color with the jig head color, but once again, experiment. Here you see a one inch twister tail. They come in all different colors and are very effective for catching crappies. When you insert the jig head through the twister tail body, make sure that that tail is up like you see here, going up over the back of the twister tail itself, above the jig head. That's very important for proper action when it swims through the water. This twister tail is just a little bit bigger, more action in the tail. When you retrieve it, experiment with different sizes. You don't want to get too big though. Crappies like smaller baits. This is a cool little bait here. It's called Moglo. It's actually a glow in the dark series. It's an inch and a quarter long, but man, I found this to be really, really effective for crappies. I didn't think it was going to do much when I first tried it, but I was wrong. It's very effective for crappies, especially ones that are finicky. This is what it looks like when it glows. So I thought that was pretty cool. And here's the Mo Glow rigged with a 132nd jig head. Remember, the weight of the jig head determines how fast the jig falls through the column of water. And that is extremely important. There you have it. That's some of my favorite jigs and plastics that I use when I'm fishing for crappies. As far as fishing is concerned, there are tons of soft plastics out there to experiment with. So try some of these and see what happens. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, and remember, there's no right or wrong method when it comes to fishing. I'm Mr. R with the Rondinelli Project and tips from the tackle box. Until next time, we gone.